So I put together a September 11th book prototype using essays that I got for, from people that wrote in explaining why they would want a September 11th flipbook. And I got the flipbook frames in the corner. You, those of you who don't know, it started off with one of these. Whoops, backwards. Small guy. And then, so now, in the corner. One more time. So I thought I'd read a couple of my favorite essays all right this one's from Tracy Cowell in Somerset United Kingdom she wrote I would like one of your September 11th art flip books because it is documenting an important piece of world history and is an event that has changed the world forever regardless of where in the world you live or which side you support I am an art teacher and always try to open my students eyes to the world of art and all of the possibilities within it. Art does not have to be nice or pretty or even socially acceptable. It can document people's opinions and awful events in a way that is often not acceptable in any other form other than art. September 11th is an event that many people are afraid to have an opinion about for fear of upsetting or offending someone. By creating this piece of art about September 11th, you are, give, you are giving people the means to express themselves through their discussion about it and also to remember of the people whose lives were affected by that terrible day. Everyone has a story to tell about September 11th and everyone has different opinions. Some are going to be incre incredibly angry that this art was created. They will say that it is cashing in on the deaths of hundreds of people and are glamorizing the terrorists, while others like me will be touched by it. They will see the art and remember that awful day and the many lives lost. They will remember the families and friends of people who died and they will be pleased that at least some people will never forget. Art is a form of expression and whether you agree with it or not, it is still an important part of our society. Art, art captures our imaginations and helps to free our emotions. Without it, our lives would be expressionless and dull. I got two more. I'll read one from someone that was more on the angry side. Actually, from New York City, so I assume they actually saw it or witnessed the attacks. It's from uh, Julian Miller. He wrote, I still cannot watch the video. Do you realize it is a 3,000 plus snuff film? I like your work. But what the fuck is your point? There are boundaries sometimes. Replaying deaths is often one of them. Your explanation is incoherent regarding, wh regarding why you think it is important to minimize the deaths of 3,000 people in a flipbook from which you are attempting to profit. You obviously have more concern for your self-promotion than for the dignity of those who died and for the feelings of people who lived through this experience in real time in NYC. I seriously doubt Anyone who experienced this tragedy in NYC will buy your gross trivialization of one of the most horrible days in American history. Your flipbook is a caravan is a caravan desperate grab for attention. <clears throat> and I asked Julian, do you think the keychains and t-shirts are a more appropriate way of dealing with the problem? How about those magnetic ribbons on cars? And he replied, I disagree with all packaging of 9-11. Flags that, quote, bring them on, nationalistic, patriotic bumper stickers, t-shirts, etc. What would have been appropriate? A bunch of men and women dressed in black, screaming and beating their chests on the edge of, a, of the smoking pit that was the World Trade Center. There is no easy, suf there is no easy suffering, and you cannot put a band-aid on a wound that is hemorrhaging. Packaging of pain is abhorrent in any form. Yellow ribbons mean nothing to me. 
The names and faces of the newly dead are shown on the news hour every night are heartbreaking. A flipbook of the World Trade Center being attacked is a parallel grab for attention on the misery of others. And I'll read my last one. This came from a friend <clears throat> that I actually, um, I sent out an email asking some, some people I know, you know about the project. And, um, and so I approached him and his essay is a kind of, well, I'll just read it. <laughs> it's from Pat Hughes. I would not like a 911 flipbook. I'm not interested in any artistic interpretations or other depictions of the collapse of the World Trade Center. I'm not interested in other people's emotional or intellectual responses to the collapse or to the other days of the, uh, the other events of that day that resort in the loss of human life. I'm not interested in personal, artistic, intellectual, or political attempts to filter or reshape these events. I'm not interested in people who use these event, events to advance a political stance or conspiracy theory. I'm not interested in joking about it. I'm not interested in people who try to appropriate pieces of it to inflate their opinions or art or commercial work in order to try and make these things seem more important. I'm not interested in coping mechanisms or distancing vices. I'm not interested in judging anyone involved in any of the above. I'm not interested in debating anything. I'm not interested in discussing it, any of it. And so I wrote to Pat, I have to ask, because you wrote an essay, would you like me to send you a 911 flipbook? And he replied, I'll pass on the 911 book. So anyways, that's my new September 11 prototype book. I'll give you one last look at what it's all about. Thank you.